In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the if and a function in Google Sheets. So our if and a function replaces the na error, which is not available, in our data set. And you can replace it with a zero or a text. It's up to you. So we have two examples right here where we see the na errors when we use the vlookup function and sometimes when we use the xlookup function. So let's try and do the vlookup function with this data set right here. We are going to be looking for the total purchase of these customer IDs. Let's get started. We are going to start with our equal sign. Type in VLOOKUP or select it right here. Put in our search key, comma, our range, comma, our index, which was the total purchase, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and a 0 for an exact match. Press enter. And you have the return value of 15,198. And if we would check this one right here, that is an exact match. Now let's try and drag this formula down to the rest of our data. And you have your formula suggestion right here where it has locked our range reference. And if we accept it, we have an A error right here on these three values right here, meaning that these customer IDs were not found in our range. So if it does happen and you don't want to see these errors, what you can do is to apply the if and a function, which will replace this and a with something else. So let's replace it with, let's say a zero. So let's put our if and a function here before our VLOOKUP parentheses and go at the end of your VLOOKUP formula and put in a comma and put in your zero to replace your NA error. Parentheses and press enter. Now that has been applied into this cell. Now if we drag that down, it has now replaced the NA errors with zero. Now these are formatted in currency. That's why they're zero dollars. So we're going to do the same thing with our XLOOKUP function right here. So for this one, instead of our total purchase, we're going to look for our product purchase that corresponds to this customer ID. Let's go ahead and do that. We have our equal sign, type in X lookup or select it right here. Put in your search key, comma, your lookup range, which where your search key is located, comma, and your results range, which would be the product purchase column right here. And if you press enter, you have the memory card as a product purchase for this customer ID. And if we're going to check, that will be right here. So that is an exact match. Now, if we try and drag this down, it's going to suggest a formula and we're just going to accept it. And here we have again our NA error, which we will replace with something else other than zero. So instead of putting in a zero, type in your if na, open parentheses, go to the end of your xlookup formula, type in a comma, and now if there is an error, we're going to replace it with this text. So we're going to say not found. Put those in quotations, closing parentheses, and enter. Now if we drag this down, we would have successfully replaced the NA error with the text not found. And there you have it. Those were two examples on how to use the if and a function here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.